After unspeakable sadness, a glimmer of hope. Nine-year-old Fayez Afzal has been released from hospital, badly injured but now recovering in the care of his relatives, with his sister, parents and grandmother all killed in last week's attack. We're all just worried about psychologically how he might be and, and, and the long road ahead from, from that perspective. The teddy bears have been piling up, a sign of support from a community for a child who's lost so much. This has been a very, very difficult situation for the whole family and especially for Pies. And so they want to give him his space that he needs to recover. From the courthouse in London, a different kind of welcome news for the community. Federal and provincial prosecutors agreeing to pursue this case as terrorism. It may end up... Uh... I guess, influencing his ability to ever be released. Nathaniel Veltman showed no emotion as he appeared over Zoom while the charges were read out. He's facing four counts of first-degree murder and one of attempted murder. Asked in court, those are your charges, sir, do you understand that? He calmly replied, yes, ma'am. I think for a long time, uh, Muslims have been on the other side where we've been, we've been accused many times falsely of terrorism. For a conviction, prosecutors will have to show the attack was ideologically driven and meant to intimidate the public or a segment of the public. Canada's Anti-Terrorism Act was introduced two decades ago after 9-11. Rarely used to prosecute anti-Muslim violence, authorities declined to charge the Quebec mosque attacker as a terrorist. It is very rare in terms of anybody who's motivated by ideology that's something other than for Al-Qaeda or uh, the Islamic State. In London, where the attack spread fear and sadness, they didn't wait to call this terrorism. It's important uh, that we see that justice is served and, and justice is done um, and that we call this incident what it is. And so, Thomas, where does the case go from here? Well, the accused is expected back in court in one week's time. Today, he appeared without a lawyer, did not enter a plea, and for the time being, he remains in custody. Now, keep in mind, experts say it will be more difficult to prosecute this case uh, as a terrorist offense, uh, though they say it is necessary. We'll take more evidence, but it is necessary to show symbolically that uh, the laws of the land should be applied to everyone the same way, Adrian. Indeed. Thomas, thank you. You're welcome.